you've heard it, we're back. Back and better than ever. Took a little break. You know, I got on YouTube for a, for a hot minute. Kind of got over YouTube because, like, you know, I don't want to, I usually don't get along too well with community guidelines and standards. So, why well, put all the emphasis and work into doing this and then just have them demonetize the whole channel? But you know what? I thought about it. All I've heard every week from fans is, why are you not making videos? Why are you not making videos? When are you coming back to YouTube? So, you know what? This isn't about me. This is about you. This is for you guys. All the fans, the followers, people that love what I do, that gives me my momentum and the fire behind me. I'm back because of you. So yes, for anybody coming in, for any newcomers, my name is Wayne Melligan of Pirate Forge. I am a critical care nurse turned professional bladesmith, and uh, this is my life. Welcome to the show. time with small talk let's get into this new build what are we gonna build what's gonna be the first adventure of this time around let's go come back here with me and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make Excellent rendition. This is it. You guys know what this looks like. That is a battle axe. The battle axe to end all battle axes is what I'm making. So, this is the rough sketch of it. What I want to do, um, Damascus, we call this a bit. Each blade side is called a, a bit of the axe. So this whole axe is actually just the, the head part is going to be four pieces. It's going to be a two-piece eye that's going to be riveted into each bit. This thing's going to be so big, even with my big even heat kiln out there and this new forge, which I'm about to show you, um, still maxing that out. I still got to make two pieces because I want this whole thing to be about this size right here. So anyways, surprise, this is what I'm making. This is what we're doing. Um, let's go out here, run you guys through the motions of what I do. I always like to draw out my new build in like a pretty special way just to get a little bit of dimensions down um also i want to show you that new that new forge that i got because it's pretty awesome and um yeah so that's it Let, let's do it all right this is it this is my Dark Star Ribbon Burner Forge. Reached out to my buddy Scott at Dark Star Forges and um, told him what I needed for this big crazy axe build and my dude produced. He came up with this crazy thing. It's an absolute monster. It's a ribbon burner. What's so nice about a ribbon burner forge? Well, it's quiet and it's super efficient. Um, really good even heat. Uh, it's just, it, 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 it's awesome. It's, it's superior to a Venturi Burner Forge. Um, in so many ways. So this is the important part we got to look at. Our opening here, we're looking at about close to a foot. Now depth, we got plenty of depth in there so that's not really an issue. Same thing with that. So we've got a foot here um, and that tells us again that's about the max of what we can do. Alright, and for this new season we got something extra special. We got a chalkboard! That's right, because I'm going to teach you things not that I know everything because I'm learning every day, but I'm going to teach you guys what I know. And also, when I draw out these plans, I've got a real professional looking place. Really, we got it going on here. So, this is my idea for this. I, wanna, I just want to show you this two, piece, this two piece eye. So, the eye of this axe, and that's where the shaft goes through. Um, the way I'm going to do it is, is I'm going to have a piece of steel like this, and it's going to have a, it's going to be forged kind of like this, and then kind of come down like this. There you go, make it look a little better. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. I actually was somewhat of an artist back whenever I was when I was younger. Like I was in, I think, first grade, and the art teacher thought that I had like some really good art skills. But she reached out to my dad to try to get me some art lessons to help me grow my artistic stuff. 
And my dad said no, because he didn't want to pay for the art lessons. So look at me, here I am today, full-time artist. I didn't even have those art lessons, but again, I'm a master of the metal, not necessarily the, the draw. So just bear, bear with me. So all right, this is, this is one side, and then the other side, we'll do the same thing. You see that? So this is two pieces of steel. Two pieces of steel that I'm gonna forge like these old round things in. And then we'll take one bit, we'll go in here, the other bit will go right here, and then we'll have rivet, 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 through there. And then the shaft will go through it like that. So that's pretty cool, guys. So like what I just drew right there, here it is right here. Do, 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 there we go. And then we got a beard of the ax here, here, ooh, ooh. Something like that. I know this looks absolutely terrible, but see it'll get riveted there. And then the same thing over here. Let's see if we can make this look more like what I'm wanting to make. There we go, that looks better on that side. A little practice, second time. Did better say rivet, rivet. And see, there'll be another plate on this back side. And then the shaft will come up through here. Very decorative shaft, we're gonna have a little butt piece, and then we're gonna have a little spike right there. This is gonna be Damascus with some squiggly stuff right there. So yeah, that's that's it right there. Looking oh. good. All right, so what the next thing I need to do before we move on with this is I need to get kind of like some size, size stuff. And the reason why I'm doing the size thing is because I told you before, check this out. Here's the kilns here. Both these kilns, I want to think they're about a foot, about a foot across. So the way I'm going to do it is, is this will be the, the total length that it can be, or from the eye over to the side. And um, so again, that's what I'm working with. All right, we came here to my fancy pants um, art drawing station. It's actually right down here. That's right, it's where I draw everything. I draw it all out on the shop floor. So that's what we're gonna do. I went in and measured my even heat kiln. My even heat's 10 inches. Was it 10 inches across? 10 inches? See. Okay. Damn, it doesn't look like much. Um, so anyways, 10 inches across, so that's the maximum uh, across that I can do. So we're gonna just, we're probably gonna go nine and three, nine and three quarters. So let's do a nine and three quarters right there. Um, so that's that's what we're working with, nine and three quarters. And then I'm gonna say the, the eye, probably about that big right there. Let's see. Let's give the eye six inches. Again, it's not perfect, but we're just getting an idea. So there's our, so that is our stuff. Nine and three quarters, nine and three quarters with a six inch eye. That's a pretty mighty fine looking ax right there. So. We're looking at um, 25 and a half inches. So, see, we're already changing, guys. I know I'm kind of wild and crazy the way I build things, but this is the way everything gets built. It's constantly just, really don't have a plan. Just kind of got an idea and just, it builds itself. So, 25 and a half inches. All right, so let's, let's rough draw this sucker out. about to see it it looks god awful but this is this right here will give me a little bit better size reference and again it's probably gonna look totally different whenever we actually get it going there's a lot of things about this that I already look at that I don't like um and it's definitely not symmetrical but this kind of gives me an idea roughly what my overall things will look like we're looking more like around 22 inches roughly overall um, height on this about 36 inches about three foot three foot tall, so about two foot across by three foot. It's still gonna be a monster ax. But with everything that I do, I really, everything I make, I want to make wieldable pieces. I'm not big into making these big goofy um, things that are just for looks. I mean, this is gonna be fully heat treated, performance, battle ready stuff. And again, that's weight factor or whatnot, because I want you guys to be able to see me wield this thing whenever I get it done. So anyways, that's what we got. And um, I'm gonna cut from this. I'm gonna show you guys what I did over here. We've got, I already got a piece sitting here. I already jumped the gun slightly. This block right here is some really awesome twist Damascus. So I'm going to show you guys some of the clips from that, how I've forged this out. 
and um, I just got this sitting to the side. Once we get to the point where we need to make the butt cap and the, the top of the axe, I'm gonna come back to this piece of twist. Um, but what we're gonna be starting on here now, we have all this 1084 cut up right here. We have all this 15 and 20 cut up. So this is what we're gonna be altering the stacks and this is what we're going to be starting this axe build. I'm going to have to make two bullets because it's already gonna be huge. And then once we forge that out, surface grind all that and do the restacks, I'm gonna integrate in some different size 1084 and 15 and 20 to give some really cool contrast. So that is it, that's the plan. We're about to put this plan in motion. Let's go check out this, uh, this twist footage. Oh, my God. 